Okay, this one. Okay, here you have a diagram, okay? Familiar with this diagram. So you have the actual wig and then the apparent wig is unknown. Okay, the block W is immersed in a beaker of water and its weight becomes Xn, given that the density of the block is this one. Okay, where is the question? Given the density of the block is this one, find the uh, find x. Okay, find x. Find x. What is x? So how do we find x? Okay, again, we use the same formula. Density of object, the mass of object divided by volume of object. So the vol let, let's find the volume of the object first. Okay, so V equals to MO divided by density O. And that is 0 0.4 divided by 1.6 times 10 to the power 3. Right, because here is given, right, the density and then the mass. So volume is 2.5 times 10 to the power of 10 si. M sa. You will press the calculator. Okay, so continue FB, then rho VG. So I can just put in the values. This is 1000. And the volume submerged is equal to the volume of the object itself. Press the calculator and then you will get a buoyant force of 2.5 Newton. Buoyant force. So what is the reading x? x is 4 minus 2.5. 1.5 Newton. This is the X reading. This is the X reading. This is the X. Okay. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit more on the buoyant force in A. Okay. I spent another five to seven minutes to talk about it. Okay. You just you guys quickly. Take down this one first, you snap it, or just take a picture of one. And then I will talk a little bit about the application. Okay, uh, I just want to talk about how does the submarine uses the principle of buoyancy. Okay, because I forgot to talk about this just now. Okay, look at this diagram here. Diagram on the left. Okay, this is cross section of the submarine. Now, how does it work? Look at the parts. And this one, okay, we have many, many valves here. First, you look at the bottom two valves, this one. This two valves is to allow water to enter. Okay, this two valves is to allow water to enter. Then, the bottom two valves is to allow the air to flow from these compressed air tanks out to this region here. Okay, so if I draw it again, you see this ballast tank, uh, ballast tank. 
so the air flows from the compressed air tanks to the ballast tank okay so same same here same here now how does the submarine floats and sink it adjusts the valve okay so if it wants to float let's say it wants to float okay let's say it wants to sink la, sink first so we know that the way is balanced by the buoyance force and this is when it's floating right it's floating so if Tayo increase the weight so that the weight more than the buoyance the buoyant force so how does it increase the wave the weight so it opens these two valve right it opens these two valve and then water will start to fill in going in from here going in from here and the water level rises inside the ballast tank and it sinks right that's how it uh, controls so if it wants to rise it has to reduce the weight so that the buoyancy the buoyant force is greater than the weight so how does it reduce the weight it will force the air from the compressed air tanks to flow in the ballast tank and then it will push the water out okay so the compressed air it has high pressure enough to remove like 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 remove the the the, the water out of the ballast tank and thus, as a result, the weight decreases because it's uh, no more, uh, less water, man, right? It's hollow so that the weight reduces tremendously. And then it starts to rise because of the point force is greater than weight. Okay, so this is how, this is a simple example of the, the principle of buoyancy. You can find it uh, in anything or hot air balloon also. Okay, so this one you can just read up in your reference book. Okay, you can just read up in your reference book. Now, the, the last one I want to show you is the, the hot air balloon. Hot air balloon also uses the buoyancy. Okay, let's, let's choose a, a nice diagram. Uh, hot air balloon. Okay, this is the final one. Okay, after this, we can just wrap up, wrap, wrap up to, for today. Uh, hot air balloon. Okay, let's pick the, the best one. This one. Okay, look at this uh, hot air balloon here. Now, 刚刚我讲, uh, buoyancy, oh, 不一定在水, oh, 它也是可以在空气. So same thing, just treat the air as the water. Okay, you just treat the air as the water. Now, how does the word hot air balloon works? First, understand the structure of the hot air balloon. Here you have a basket, right? This basket is to to tie run or tie some model, lah. Okay, and then on top here at the middle section, here is a burner. Can you see my? This is a burner. So this burner keeps the air in the envelope. This one, this very big thing, ah, is we call the envelope. Okay, bao wei na zhong gases zai li mian. Okay, we call it an envelope. So this burner is to heat up the air inside the envelope. Okay, so these three simple structures. Now, how does it work? Let's say the air surrounding it, you just imagine the air surrounding it is like water. Lah. It's like this whole thing right, is immersed in air, right? I draw this uh, black square. So this is air. Just like the object immersed in water, right? So this thing is, it displays, since it is immersed in the region of air, right? So meaning that it displays air, right? It displays, it displays air particles, okay? So the volume of air particles being displaced is the volume of this envelope, right? Which is why they have a very big envelope. Why? Because they want to displace uh, so much air they want to displace huge amount of air okay just like uh, the object just like the ship la, in water right they want to displace huge amount of water to equal to their weight okay so this works the same concept so they it displaces a huge amount of air so the surrounding air is cool air right this is cool air and the envelope is hot air okay so 
它 displace 它 displace 的是 cool air 来的，所以我我们写 weight of the cool air。Okay, this is the weight of the cool air. It must be equals to what? It must be equals to the the weight of the hot air inside plus the weight of the person plus the weight of the equipment, whatever lah, right? So the point is that the weight of the cool the weight of the cool air being displaced, it must be equals to the weight of the entire hot air balloon, right? Same with the one in the water. Do you think that water, the weight of the water displaced, it must be equal to the weight of the object. It's the same thing. It's the same thing, right? Now, why the air must be hot inside? Because hot air is less dense. Okay, hot air is less dense, so we can reduce the weight, right? So if you fill it up with with hot air, it greatly reduces the weight okay and also because inside is hot right so meaning that the pressure inside is very high it since the pressure inside is very high so it pushes the envelope outward all right but we cannot have a too high pressure inside because if it's too high then it will just burst right so what happened is that at the top and the bottom of the envelope there is an opening here you see this this is the opening, and at the top also there's opening, just you don't see it. Okay, so it needs to have an opening so that it allows the hot air to escape so that the pressure inside is not too extreme. All right, so how does the, the guy control the altitude of this hot air balloon? It simply increases the burner. Okay, if it turn up the burner, right, so the air becomes hotter inside, right? So it's reducing the entire weight of the hot air balloon and as a result it rises right and it turn off it can turn off the burner and then the balloon starts to sink okay we are also called sinking it's sinking in air okay so sinking doesn't only apply in, in, in water it can be in air also right so it's floating in air yeah how, how does it float now nah? okay to maintain a, a constant altitude nah? The, the the guy has to turn on and off yeah they ha he has to like turn on and off to maintain altitude so it's like very hard lah, right so to maintain a very accurate level altitude is quite impossible for hot air balloon so it's very difficult because you have to like turn on and off on and off and then you have to make adjustment right okay so that's it for today i just want to talk about these two this is this uh, th this is the typical examples of uh, the Archimedes principle. Okay, so there are many more examples, um, airship, all this stuff. Uh, for those, you can just read up in the reference book. Okay, I just want to cover this too. Okay, uh, well, we send an exercise to uh, group. And I think we will do this online. And then we will start the physical class. And then we will send you the SOP for the, when we are having the physical class, the SOP. Okay, I will send it in a group, everything, all the instruction stuff. Okay, okay. And also make sure you let your parents know. Uh, you let your parents know that we are starting to do the physical class in August. Make sure that you get the permission from them. Make sure they are okay with you going to the center. All right? Make sure everything is okay, then only come to the center. So uh, we are starting the physical class on 3rd of August. 3rd of August is Monday. And our class is on the 4th of August. Okay, Tuesday.